this game is clearly not endorsed by Nintendo and is a fan-made game. A very good one at that. It's Super Mario 63, a fan-made... <laughs> I can't believe I repeated the same thing twice, but... Oh, repeated the same thing twice. More redundancy, but... Super Mario 63, it is... Like, a 2D sort of version-ish of Mario 64. With a bit, some elements of Super Mario Sunshine and Super Mario Galaxy thrown in. Uh, it takes the health bar that you have from our games like Mario 64, Mario Sunshine, Mario Galaxy 1 and 2. Uh, it also takes, um... And you, it's, your, it's also your goal to collect stars, and the concept is, is still going through Peach's Castle in paintings like Mario 64 had. So it's, basic, it's the same basic thing, but it's... It's actually, and it's actually a really good fan game. Now the extras here, I'll get to uh, this after the main game is done. Options, you can change your, you know, quality of everything. And you can mute the music, I'm not gonna do that. Um, let's get to the part you want to get to, the story. Get to the you want to get to. That's three redundancy attacks in one day. That's, that's good. Right, but we're at the Mushroom Kingdom. And the graphics, for the most part... Oh. Mario should be arriving any minute for his surprise party. What I was saying is that the graphics are based partially on... For the most part, on either Mario... Uh, some of the Mario uh, Advance RPGs. Game Boy Advance RPGs, I mean. And Yoshi's Island, as you can see with the... Structure of... Structures of the... Ground and whatnot. And Mario Sprite himself is... From that... Game Boy Advance game. Welcome to the Mushroom Kingdom. The first thing you need to know, this just tells us to read signs by pressing the Z button, or Z if you are American. And the controls, you can move uh, left and right, uh, down. you can crouch by down, you can jump with up. And it gives, some, gives us some vague action buttons, Z, X, and C. Now the up to jump, um, I've played quite a few online, you know, Flash games where up is jump, and I'm kind of used to it, but I think a lot of people might not be. Um, the Z button, what it can do is, it can of course can read those signs. Uh, and it can also do a ground pound if you press if you press it while in air. The X button does a spin, just like in Mario Galaxy, sort of. It attacks enemies and you can hover in the air for a bit. Now what this what this sign was referring to, you can jump and press down to do a dive. If you crouch and then press up and back at the same time, you do that, a backflip. It's not nearly as useful in this game as it was in the other ones though. But you have to press both up and back at the same time. Now, if you double tap right or left, you run, kind of like in Kirby. At least, uh... Did you know you can also talk to toads like me with the Z button? Alright, and and also retains the triple jump feature from Mario 64. Except I didn't show it quite well. This pit down here ha just has a uh, pool of here. Um, of here. Wow. Weird. Um, but... It has a pool with cheap cheeps. You can, uh, kill those by doing a spin attack underwater. And swimming in water look works just how you might imagine with... Whoa, I got... Seemed like lag there for a second. But yeah, you can... You can just press up to swim in water. Now, this sign here... It's a Goomba, Mario! Jump on it! It? There's three, but yeah, wouldn't have... Wouldn't have thought of that if you hadn't told me, game, but... Now, you need five coins to heal one, you know, damn it, point of damage to your health. Which, can is a bit less forgiving, I must admit, than Mario Galaxy, Mario 64, those ones. Uh, you can spin attack these bombs by pressing X, and these, uh, these birds, I, I don't know if they're like seagulls or pelicans or whatever, but uh, it, you can actually ride on those. Fine. Now, this sign, I think it's going to tell us to do the, how to do ground pound. Yes, it does. And you swimming in water. And it says swim upwards. Not upward, upwards. Wow. Uh, and they're, just like in the Mario Gal the Mario 64, um, you have a limited amount of your power, you have a limited amount of, uh, time you can spend in the water uh, if you don't collect a coin. Now, you can go back with, uh, well, ah, I didn't want to, uh, that pelican almost took me back there, but, yeah, you can just jump back to the, and this sign here just tells us how to do a triple jump, so... Or it just tells, yeah, it just tells us that it, it exists, basically. Those blue coins do restore uh, a bunch of your health. And here's where we're starting going to start seeing the Mario Sunshine aspects of this game. Yes, Flood is back. This is where the C button comes in. It's called the Hover 
variant in this game. There's actually a couple other variants you can unlock later, but for now, this one just hovers if you press the C button. I keep pressing the up button. I mean, the yeah, the C button. I keep pressing the up button. My character can't jump. Why didn't run though or run run out? The developer programmed me to be able to jump. I don't know which pronunciation it is. <laughs> His face turned freaking red there. Like, oh my good goodness. If you run out of water, jump to the lake or collect a water bottle. Oh my god, oh my goodness, oh my... And this, uh, that's a wing koopa, you... Wing de koopa, I mean, uh, para troopa. And you can just jump into a lake to refill your water bottle, and of course, to refill your water, and this water bottle will do the trick as well. So, and that sign there, it, it legit just tells that us um, about water bottles again. Oh, I guess I can show you now, since I've... You know... Since I fell, okay. And also running a bit lower on water than I'd like. Uh, this is limited. You can't you, you can't just hover indefinitely. Uh, it is, of course, limited to a certain amount of time. And these uh, the paratroopas in this game, they don't actually they only they only hover in place. They don't actually move. And that's a bit weird to me. Um, they don't move left and right until, of course, you knock them down. This tells you about zooming in and out. I'm not gonna be doing that today, but other days. <laughs> Talk to him. Hello, Mario. How are you? What? What you say? Huh? You mean we're both standing hundreds of feet off the ground on a floating cloud? How did I end up here? Wow, that's pretty. Um, it's pretty wacky. Um, how do I do this? Oh, Mario. This is a very affectionate sign. You can pause the game by pressing P. Yeah. So, so all these here. Um. Just like this, I. You can also check the star map, which just tells you about star or the stars uh, in this shine sprites in the game. And I can we can take this warp pipe to Princess Peach's castle. Oh, peaches as in plural of peach and not possession. Oh, so possessive. Okay, that's weird. This part I actually didn't see because I played an unfinished version of this when I was younger. The airship is loaded and ready to attack, Master Bowser. Perfect. Let phase one of my master plan, the invasion, begin! Whoa, master plan? Phase one. This is getting pretty... He's going pretty, uh, far in this. You know, making master plans and whatnot. I just finished setting up the b banners inside the castle. And Princess Peach's evil-looking border... The cake for Mario is still sitting in the fridge. We need heat it up for when Mario gets here. Sounds like an impression Ultimate Pikachu Fan 1 would do. And actually, all um, the, the fact that they also capitalize words improper nouns, reminiscent of him as well. Mario is still a half an hour away. That should be enough time. No offense, I'm not a, a, insulting Ultimate Pikachu Fan 1. No, that's not it. We're here to celebrate the day Mario defeated Bowser. But Bowser has been defeated many times already, not just once. It's the very first time Mario squashed Bowser's plan, not one of the many insignificant times after. Insignificant times after, I mean. Whoa, Mario, you surprised me. Well, that's kind of ironic, since this was supposed to be a surprise party for Mario. Mario, you always get here so fast. We weren't expecting you for another 30 minutes. Than the a toad, really. I, I didn't notice that a second ago, but yeah, it's a bit weird. It says a toad. I'm gonna call it the a toad. What's the mat noise? What's that noise? Let the invasion begin. So yeah, his master plan is just to storm the castle with enemies. It seems. Um, pretty low standards for what a a master plan with phases would qualify as, but okay, I'll accept that. Um, <laughs> Mario acrobatic E. And, whoa, Princess Peach is a jerk! I mean, she's holding that toad. Your castle mine, princess! Yeah, this, this toad very clearly died. Wow, Princess Peach. Came if you get rid of Mario. And he reluctantly says, yes, sir. In with some of these. You hit Mario and 
Okay, if he can't, if he could just do that any time, why doesn't he just do that all the time? Here it is, the Shine Sprite Orb. With this, I have control of this castle. Kamek, status report. Master Bowser, the Toads have retreated and Peach has been captured. Mario is lying unconscious of the castle. He shouldn't wake up for a few hours. The battle has been won. Um, why does Bowser need this, like, relay back to him? He was there. Bowser, <laughs> did you just not remember? Perfect. Everything is going according to plan. Kamek, destroy it now! I, yeah, I, I may I should have been a little louder. Well, actually, no, I shouldn't. I should. You know, that broken glass is kind of a safety hazard. Yeah, try that in real life. Just wait, watch as the glass, uh, like, just disappears away. The shine sprites will drift around aimlessly. Eventually, they'll be lost forever. Yeah, no no one's ever gonna, in any game ever, tries to collect them again. Mwahaha, then the plan should succeed. What should we do with Mario? He's bound to interfere. That's a very good point. Forget about Mario. There's now a way he can even get into the castle. Um, Bowser, are you going senile or something? The entire, ta entire castle is now locked up. Yeah, that's that's gonna stop him, right? Right now, I'll start the search for it. <laughs>